Hey guys, here is General Hale. I was reading my comments of an old video. The comment was, I think, over four months old. And uh, the comment was about a bit of complaining. Maybe not meant too serious, but it was just about um, when I had this unboxing of this Mad Cat's Red 8 mouse. And I didn't show any of of the software just the, the color switch or the color changing and not the software in wheel so now i will show you the software okay let's open this thing up red 8 got a shortcut on the desktop unfortunately there is no uh, uh, maximize problem so i cannot make this window any bigger than it is here i'm sorry i cannot there is no option anyway let's have a quick look about this whole program what can you do first of all we have here on the left side you can choose between your profiles select the destination profile slot and then click upload to send the profile to the device you can change between your profiles create new ones give them new names whatever you want we just call it test now here and so on doesn't work oh no it works okay anyway you can upload here new profiles i just use this madcats or madcats default profile and we start with programming here now we're in the programming section where you can add shortcuts to nearly any mouse button not to the left mouse button but you can add it to the to the mouse wheel you can add it to to this mouse wheel button you can add it to mouse wheel middle button you can add it to mouse wheel down you can to this how do they call it i think they call it walker walker up walker down you can add it to the right mouse button and so on to this button to the precision aim button i don't know for example you can add what do we have here let's show you an example let's just go to windows 10 settings you, you put windows 10 settings here then you go on to apply and you choose one of your profiles, one, two, three, or default. I will go for default now. I will just press upload and don't press clear. I made a mistake today that I pressed clear and then my profile was deleted or gone. Anyway, now we should have on this back button, or, or I don't know how they call it really, this button. I, anyway, if I press this button, now this back button or white button, I will open the window settings. And you can add nearly, nearly anything you want. I will just upload this. I don't want to save it anyway. You can, I'm not using, as you can see, I'm not using any shortcuts, but you can use volume up, volume down, what else? Windows 10, launch app, and so on. Send, send email message, show desktop, scroll, click, save, reply, reload, pause, play, and so on. There are lots, dozens of options. Really, you can do a lot with this program. It's really cool that you can personal, personally size everything. Then we have keys. You can add keys, short keys to, to I don't know. You can say, I want I want a zero here. I want a, a one here. I want a, I want alt here. I want application. I want backspace. I want CTRL. I want enter. Anyway, escape, F, F12. If you have some, I don't know, if you start your recording or start your uh, streaming or anything, you can just choose here F2 add it here and you can also use it i think it for, personally for, in, in my opinion it doesn't make sense to make shortcuts with f2 because you have it anyway on the keyboard but i don't know if you if you think you're faster or you want it you can use it okay why not home and so on insert page down dozens of options windows you can add the windows key okay i can show this also if you want this time on this button we press apply upload should be uploaded then i press this mouse click okay okay it works i pressed i pressed the wrong button i'm sorry okay it works and so on so what else what else do we have here okay then we can go to favorites of course you can add buttons to your favorites like i don't know you can say i want forward i want forwards to add to my favorites and then you have it here on favorites that's just an easy option. And now I will show you how this works.
at least a simple command. I can show you how you make a simple custom command. You click here. First, you go on programming, jump from shortcuts, keys and favorites to custom command. These are all pre-made or pre-saved commands. You can go to custom. Then you go on create custom command. Of course, you can add a name. For example, we will call this pistol and add a picture to it. And then here we have the option of timing and mode. If, a simple, if you use the simple mode, your options are limited or a bit uh, limited. Yeah, you can only use everything. If you really make a, a, simple, a simple command now, then you will go down here and just, I don't know, go on to, like change to the pistol. Then you say, okay. And then you have it and then you already have your command you can set it to wherever you want like i want it on this back button if i press this button i want to change to my pistol in battlefield one or in alien vs predator or call of duty or whatever you're playing you can switch it also to more buttons if you want i think it doesn't make sense anyway then you have the option here you go back we call this shotgun and then here you can switch the mode to advanced if you switch to advanced, there's the description. This button manages the complexity of the command you can create. Simple commands output as fast as possible. When a micro button is pressed, advanced commands allow you to manage the output speed and decreases the complexity of commands to cover a micro button press, repeat and release event. So you can here repeat over your mouse cursor over this ever to begin recording key input. This part of the command will output when the sign marker button is pressed down and held. So it's just you can repeat or, or make your command more complex if you play one. I didn't try this out or anything. I, I will just make show you another shotgun. Shotgun, like you go on one. And then you have here the amount of, of milliseconds. Click the red interval to edit the time delay between key presses. The, date, the delay is hidden when set to zero. So you can make a right click on this now and change the milliseconds from one mil or from zero milliseconds to even 1000 milliseconds. And you can choose it here also, apply all or go with, with 20 milliseconds apply and then you have it. And that's it, that's nearly it. You can make your custom commands, use it on, on I don't know, on this, on, this, on this wheel here, on this mouse wheel. If you scroll left, you will switch to your shotgun. Or you can create another custom command, like, I don't know, you can make a Claymore, for example. We will also keep this simple. And we'll go on free with Claymore. Let me change the picture to Claymore. Okay. And then you have it, and you can also use it and put it wherever you want. This is how the custom command section works. Yesterday I had no idea, and of course you have to apply then, press apply, and you have to upload it to one of your profiles, one, two, three, or four, default, or whatever your names are. You can change them anyway. Anyway, let's go to settings. Settings, what can we do here? We can go to profile settings. You have your profiles, you have four DPI, you can choose between four DPI levels. And here you're standing, conf configure the tracking resolution of the laser sensor, set up to four different levels with independent X and I access controller the selected via DPI switch, which means you can go through this for with your what was this top this this button called walker gonna walker 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 up or walker down. Anyway, we have here also profile settings and common settings. On common settings, you can reduce any unwanted cursor movement with lift of height adjustment. Set the height at which the sensor stops tracking to avoid an unwanted cursor offset when lifting the red. I I let this from two millimeters here. You can calibrate it over three millimeters here. Apply all. We set to factory default Windows mouse settings. Then lift of weight. What else? We have indicator brightness. Adjust the sliders to select the desired brightness of the DBR level and profile LEDs. I also let this by 100%. I didn't change it. I think it's okay. And Rotex. If you normally hold your mouse at an angle of the normal vertical axis, you may experience slight vertical mouse or cursor movement when you think you're just moving horizontally. Use this tool to offset this by rotating the image so that it matches the angle at which you hold your mouse. 
You can also play around here with degrees and so on. If you want to not have your mouse like straight. But I I have it on zero. I also didn't change this here. Okay, let's get back to profile settings. We have here the DPI response. Anyway, you can change it here. It is four levels from, I don't know, from 100 to even 12,000, which is really, really very sensitive, 12,000. Then, what else do we have? We have DPI switch. The DPI buttons can be assigned to any button on the mouse. Each DPI feature can be only be assigned to one button and does not alter the programming on that button, allowing you to also assign programming to the button as well. DPI cycle means you could choose now a special button you want. Like, I don't know, we say, um, I want the scroll wheel back. And if you use the scroll wheel back, you will uh, uh, jump through your through your four DPI levels. Like in my in, from, in my case, in example, you would go from 3,600 to 1,600, then from 1,600 to 3,200 or whatever you got here, and then to 12,000. But I also, also don't like this. I just have this here set up. It's, it's also the, like the factory or default settings. Walker up is, is DBI up and Walker down is DBI down, which I also can use here. I can show it here. If I, if I press the Walker, if I press the Walker down, the DBI goes down and Walker up is DBI up. It gets, as you can see with my mouse here, it gets very sensitive. This is like normal. This is like slow and this is the, and, and now I'm back on, on, on maximum again. If you reached the end, this is normal what I have here with, and this is, this, this is very, very sensitive as you can see. This is the DPI switch with Walker up, Walker down. It's the LED, the red LED light left to your left mouse button. Then we have DPI multiplier. With the DPI multiplier gives a greater DPI range for the device at the cost of accuracy. For example, if the multiplier is set to 2 and the DPI is set to 1000, the output will be 2000. You can play around here with your DPI modes. Like, I don't know, you can get up to 12000 and so on. I have this four levels here, but I have to say I didn't didn't change here a lot. For example, if I'm using my, my DPI response level 4 with 12,000 DPI, will be, or it can be multiplied to 48,000. It's, it's just stuff to play around. I, I, I never had this, or I never needed this sensitivity any before, I had to say. Maybe some needed if you, I don't know, design something or do graphics or control a, a, a space station or a space station arm or something or something in 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 the deep of the sea you're controlling maybe you need it there i don't know i, I never need it anyway this is the dpi multiplier we have precision aim precision aim is the red mouse button or red button you have when the precision aim button is present pressed the higher the precession you set, the slower your cursor's movement speed will be in order to help your target your enemies more precisely. I will show you this later in a game, in an example that you can see what's going on. You can also set here the, the, the DPI range from 100 to 12,000, but it doesn't make sense to make it really sensitive. So I, I think it doesn't make sense if you if you have this precision aim button and you set it to 12,000 and it will be like the mouse like going like this. So better is if you set it to something low, not too low, but I have it now on 300, I think. And it's very good because then you can really focus on shooting. And so I will show you this later. Okay, then you have the pole weight. The setting commands are often input data sent to the host computer. A higher value will mean the input data from the mouse will be sent, an increased rate moving, any bottlenecks on performance. Polling rate is not in constant value, meaning that the mouse will only reach the selected polling rate when it's moved at a speed, but it requires more frequent input reports. I would here go with the maximum, of course. You want to, to have the best settings, the best, the best constant value, not something... 
I don't, I don't know if it's, it's if it's good. You have 125 hertz, but I think here's the best 1000. Also, didn't try this out before, but I will have a look at it. Okay, and also we have Angel Snap. This feature corrects minor deviations in cursor movement to produce consistent input. For example, when turned on, lines drawn in paint will appear smooth. Turn this feature off to, for two unaltered sensor input. So this is also a feature, I think, for if you're drawing stuff or using a graphic device or painting or a designer or something. I, I think it's, it's not necessary for, for gaming guys or shooting guys or, or playing, playing stuff. Okay, okay. Down here we have just apply reset and reset to factory defaults. Here's the software version and the firmware version, and also you can change your language here down to whatever you want. And now it's stuck. Oh, we changed it to changed it to Chinese or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, didn't want to. Let's go back to English. Oh, it takes a long time, it seems, to change here the language. Okay, now we got it. Anyway, what else do we have? We have the Chameleon Lightning. I already showed you this before, only on the mouse, not with this programming here. You can choose nearly any color you want. You can add... I don't know. We go here and we go on white. This one you can choose orange or yellow or whatever you want. You can play around with this black. It doesn't really make sense to make it black because you won't really see it. And then you go on red or something. You can choose here a color. You can move around. You can say, I want I want this to be a bit of light green or something. Whatever you want. You have a lot of options with the colors to play around. Then down here you can choose your effect type. There is no effect. Then just the light is just running constant without any effect like breathing or heartbeat or rainbow or color cycle or color chase. We just go this through quick, I will show you. I now have here breathing. I had breathing with everything on green. Which looks like here, we can see it. it looks like this. Then you can go on, I don't know, heartbeat. You can choose your duration also. You can make it really slow or really quick. If you want to be like, I don't know, if you want to be stressed, stressed heartbeat. Anyway, I showed you this before. I think everybody knows the rainbow going through all colors. Brightness, you can change here. I think I showed this before. I don't, we don't need to go here through. Okay, and apply and reset and that's it. And you have your support where you can read the programming manual. We can click on here, which will send you to a link to the download homepage with everything you can do. Okay, the software is called Flux Programming Overview. Also didn't notice. And browser back is this mouse button called. I already forgot it. Okay. And that's it. Yeah, we, we could go now through this, but I think it's not interesting for anyone. And you can download drivers and software, download profiles. Like there are normal there are profiles for uh, we have a mice, select product, red eight, Windows 10, 64 bit. Download profiles. We say save, yes. Just go onto the desktop now. I will delete this probably. I don't need it. Profile pack. We will press open. And there are like profiles in it like Titanfall, Strategy, um, MMO, FPS profiles, Dishonor, Doors X, Battlefield 1, and so on. Action profiles. Okay, knowledge base, submit a ticket, contact us. Quick start guide is also down here. We also send you to homepage how you use the mouse, how you can change your wings, your wheels, your weight, your everything. You can change everything with this thing. It's really a lot of a lot of customization and personalization, I have to say. And that's nearly it. Yeah, we can go you can go to the so social media pages like I don't know, Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. Probably there will be a better video out with more explaining also with somebody who knows how this custom command works. I have to say I didn't check this out too much. But anyway, I hope you liked this video, guys. Please subscribe. If you have any ideas or suggestions what I should play or what I should, what you want to see, please let me know. And before we end this video, 
we will play something. Hey guys, here is General Hale back into Battlefield 4. Let's go into the test range. I just want to show you quickly this precision aiming or precision mouse or red button or however you want to call this thing. Okay, test range is ready to play. Let's press here. Oh, we don't need a helicopter, just like to fly around a little bit. Let's fly to the guns. Here. Here we are. The best example will be with a sniper rifle. With such a weapon you won't... This is with precision aiming. And this is without. It makes a difference, but... You have to see a real difference. We'll go the DPI really on maximum. You can see it's now it's really sensitive. And with this precision aiming... You can really focus. Move slowly into the head or into the middle of the body it's really a nice feature now let's get the dpi a bit down a little bit down <laughs> it's too sensitive let's pick up um i don't know let's pick up this m82 a3 i know with the zoom guys and as you can see of course you can also shoot at enemies without precision aiming it's not a necessary thing it's more like a, a feature you have with precision aiming you can really focus slowly as you can see let's reload this thing it's more interesting on moving targets than on standing targets i missed fast again oh come on They're too fast I'm not a good sniper, as you can see. But here you can see that it makes a difference, because if you're aiming like this, it's going fast, or if you have the DPI up, it's like really fast, really sensitive. And with like precision aiming on, you can really go slowly into the head and make a headshot. As I always said, it's not, not something that's really really necessary but it's a nice oh come on why am i not hitting this these two moving things give me another gun it's gonna be so difficult <laughs> i'm getting ambitious no oh. that can't be I'm only hitting the wall in fact. Even with or without position aim. Okay, we got this one. Let's try on this two again. No. No. Come on. I just want to hit it one time, please. Give me another gun. Give me this. No, give me this. No, and this one I wanted to have. But oh, that's probably another scope. No, that's that's good. That's good. That's actually good. Yes, we got it. No. God. Yes, now I got it. <laughs> Took some time. Sorry, guys. Hope I didn't annoy you. And now we'll show a difference between if you shoot shooting like here, triggering the barrels. Here, it doesn't make sense to use this precision aiming. Because it this was without precision aiming, now we'll trigger the barrels again with precision aiming. And as you can see, you're too, you're really too slow. Without it's better. I missed also. Try another shot without position aiming. And we wasted all our ammunition. But it's a nice feature. And I never saw this in another mouse before, I have to say. That's also a reason why I like it. And also on far distances, like here on 175 meters, 
this precision aiming is really good because you really focus on your target and you won't miss normally. Only these two bastards I'm not hitting. Anyway guys, we will leave it to you. Just wanted to, to give you a quick impression or a quick look on this precision aim or this red mouse button. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, push the thumbs up button. We'll see us next time. If you have any ideas, suggestions or any complaints, please let me know. Or if you have any ideas for what I should make next, for what I should unbox or what I should play or what video software or something you want to see, tell me and I will definitely make a video about it if I can or if I have the game or the software. So we will see us next time. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and we will see us next time. Goodbye. Ciao ciao.